Hi guys, long time no see. I have been working like crazy. I just got off my three day stretch and now I have, oh, uh, what, three? Three more days off? Um, I spent all day yesterday taking some much needed R&R &R and just um, started packing my house up because we close in like 14 days. So yeah. Um, I'm happy to be back in filming and I'm going to bang out the videos over the next three days. Um, for this video, I filmed this eye look right here. Kind of a um, fall colored uh, glam, but not like full glam, like no falsies, no wing, nothing, nothing like that. Just, you know, the perfect little fall eye look with a little bit of glitz um, for like a date night or a night out with your friends. So yeah, that's what I did. And if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. And also at the end of this video, I'm going to leave the winner of the giveaway, the selfie kit giveaway. Um, I will be emailing you. I have your information and I don't want to butcher your name on camera. So. Um, thanks to Gleam, I have your email, and I will be emailing you, but congrats to you. Um, stay tuned tomorrow, because I'm going to announce another giveaway I have going on. Um, it's just another pop-up random giveaway, uh, this time makeup brush themed. So, yeah, stay tuned for that tomorrow. But yeah, anyways, uh, sorry for all the rambling. I miss you guys. Happy to be back filming, and yeah, so if you want to see how I got this, then just keep watching. Okay, using the second lightest shade in the Studio Makeup on the Go palette, I'm just going to dust this all over my lids with the Mally Cosmetics blending big fluffy brush. I'm just going to put this on all over my lids. I've already set my eyes with concealer, so <coughs> that's my husband coughing in the background. <coughs> Next, I'm taking the M Morphe M443 and grabbing the brown shade. Um, it's like a light tan shade. I'm going to be using this as my transition. Putting that in my crease from inner to outer corner. Building it up just so it's, it makes a good transition shade for the warmer colors that I'm going to be using. leaving the room because he's coughing way too much. I apologize. He's still sick. Just building this up. Next thing I'm going to take the, M, the Morphe M441, I believe. I'll list all the brushes below and just take that tawny looking shade. These This palette doesn't have names. Sorry guys and just deepening up that crease and focusing this on the outer V area just to deepen that up a little bit. And I'm taking that same Mally brush I used to put down my first color and blending all over my lids. So there's no harsh lines. Next thing, I'm taking this Morphe Bullet Brush. Um, I think it's the E43. Like I said, I'll list it down below. And I'm going in with um, Red Brick by MAC. I had a really hard time with this shade using the Bullet Brush. So I grabbed the Smudge Tache brush and applied it with that. And I just started in my outer corner and buffed my way in trying to deepen up that outer corner and then just dragging what was left on the brush inwards and the same thing on this lid it's really dark use most of the color in the outer V and then just dragging what was left inward. I'm 
then using that same Mally big fluffy brush I'm just gonna blend it all together now I'm gonna take the pointed pencil brush by Morphe and apply this deep cocoa color by Mac I really had a hard time with these two Mac shades like they were super hard to blend I really struggled and I didn't edit out my struggle I wanted you guys to be able to see me struggle because the struggle is real sometimes it really is so I just packed this all over the outer V up to that red brick shade but not above it I wanted it to smoothly transition one into the other and then I put it in the inner corner because I am going for a halo effect here you'll be able to see how patchy these colors are. I spent a lot of time off camera blending. <laughs> Just blending again. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing with that pointer brush and the Deep Cocoa Shade by MAC on the other side. I had a better time with this eye than I did the first eye. But in the end, it all comes together, so I wasn't too frustrated. It just did take a while because those colors were not very blendable. And then once I have it in my inner and outer corners, then I just take what's left of the brush and I go back and forth across my crease to give myself that halo effect with the open lid in the middle. And then I'm choosing the blending brush, same one throughout this whole video, guys. Just trying to diffuse the lines, diffuse, diffuse, diffuse. Next, I'm taking two shades, two different ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, using my finger, laying down the lightest shimmery shade. I cannot, I do not have the names in front of me, but I will list them in the description, I promise. Pack the lighter one all over my lid, and then I go in for a second coat to really intensify it. My faces are awesome. Next I'm taking the more copper, coppery color, mixing it in with that really light shimmer. And it just really helped tie it in. Like, I didn't want it to be too silvery looking. I wanted it to look warm. So, mixing these two colors together really helped tie it in with the browns and the red that I used. It made the silver look less harsh. Taking that pointer, pointed pencil brush again and just redefining the inner corner 
with that fudge color. Then I'm going to take a small precision brush by Real Techniques and that dark fudge color and take it all along my lash line. And I don't go crazy with it because I had all intentions of using black eyeshadow also to smoke it. Out my lower lash line after I've applied my eyeliner. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. I will see you in my next video. Love you guys so much. So, so much. Please like and subscribe. Bye guys!